Welcome back YouTube. Today I'm going to do a video on how I make my ready water for my fish. I have two five gallon uh, water jugs, same kind of Culligan water jugs you've probably seen before the blue ones. <coughs> Excuse me. And I use the water. As soon as I'm done using the water out of the jugs, I prepare more water for the next day. Right here, I have the stuff I use on a regular basis. Sometimes I use other chemicals. If I'm treating for some type of parasite or infection or any other specified reason, I'll use a different chemical. But for my daily usage, this is what I use. Right here, you got Prime. The instructions make sure you read the instructions on everything before you use it uh, but I use inside the cap there are a couple of lines which are the threads that that's on the bottle it says on the instructions that each line inside here is roughly one milliliter and that's what I go off of. I just put one milliliter into my five gallon water jug. And that's that's all I use. I use 10 gallons each time I do a water change. So next I have kosher salt. You get that at the dollar store. That was one dollar for sixteen ounces for sixteen ounces, which I think is a pretty good deal. And to each five gallon jug I use one tablespoon which is roughly three teaspoons also I put in each five gallon jug I believe it's an eighth of a tablespoon an eighth of a teaspoon of Epsom salt and then I also put one full tablespoon of your discus buffer which gets me to a pH roughly to about five eight five six is what it says but mine's usually running about Six to six four. This also helps soften the water. Where I'm at, we have very hard water and fairly alkaline water. I think it comes out of the tap about seven four. Also, your salt will help catch some of that calcium. I believe it bonds to the calcium and kind of pulls it out of the water, kind of renders it uh, neutralized. So salts will help soften your water a little bit and those are the chemicals I use go ahead and put some of it in here this is my fish room For those of you who haven't seen it pretty simple I have two five gallon jugs here Boom. Another one down there. And when I'm when I'm filling up my tanks or my jugs again, there's usually about a measuring cup full of water left. I like to do that just because this discus buffer will tend to clump up. If it gets a little bit damp, it'll clump up. So I leave about a cup of water in there so when I put it in, I just give it a quick shake and it doesn't clump. Helps it dissolve faster and then I don't have to worry. Kosher salt. The kosher salt, I use that um, just as you know a general health you know electrolytes um, it's supposed to help with their slime coat you can also give them a salt bath and they call it a salt dip uh, if you want to see a video on how to do that just go ahead and shoot me a comment and I'll make a video but you got an eighth of a teaspoon of Epsom salt into each jug
Then last but not least, discus buffer. Go ahead and get a full tablespoon into each of your jugs. And I make them nice and level. This will treat five gallons roughly to get it about where I want it. That's it. Let them you take them to I take them to my shower, fill it up, bring it back to the room, and I have these caps that I get off of these bottles right here. You see that's the same cap. And that happens to fit perfectly over that five gallon jug. I use that <coughs> excuse me. I use that to keep out mold that's in the air, bacteria, uh, fungus spores could be in the air, uh, any just dirt, uh, anybody that's just randomly coming by, they won't be able to knock something into there. The only suggestion I have is for the first couple hours, leaving it somewhat off like that to help vent out the chlorine that's in almost everybody's tap water. And then after that, you can go ahead and secure it down if it's going to be longer. Uh, you'll see bubbles start to form. If you give it a knock like that, all the bubbles will come off the side of your jug. Then you can vent it out for maybe 5-10 minutes and then put it back on tight. But that's how I do my ready water. I'll let that set for, you know, 24 hours, you know, minimum 12 hours just to let that chlorine come off. If you're using Prime, yeah, that does help take the chlor uh, chloramines and chlorine out of the water. But just to be on the safe side, the longer you let it set, the better. My fish like it, it works for me. If you have any suggestions, comments, put it down in the comment section. If you have any requests, put that in the comment section. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.